Hey everybody, thank you for joining me on Technology Tip Thursday. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to create a dynamic access using a parameter in Tableau and Power BI. Uh, the reason why you might want to do this is so that your user can see what they've selected in the chart itself. It gives context to the visuals, it gives a little bit more information and it lets your user not guess what they've selected. So let's go ahead and hop into the video. So in tab below, I already created a parameter that I want to use. So we look at our parameter. We see that I have sales, profit, and quantity in here. So I'm going to use this parameter to create my visualization. Also, I created a calculated field that is a case statement, if I can select it. Here we go. So uh, basically, case, when I select my parameter, sum of sales, profit, sum of profit, when quantity, then sum of quantity. So I'm going to use this for my actual visualization itself. So if I bring in category and then if I bring in my dynamic measure that I created, we see that now I have the information on here. So when I select my parameter, this will change and update. And just to get some formatting to make it bigger. There we go. All right. So as we see here, this says dynamic measure right now by default, because that's the calculated name. But we want the actual name of the parameter to be here in the axis. So right now, if I select profit, it doesn't do anything. It changes the values itself, but it doesn't change the actual information. So what I want to do is if I select this dynamic measure, hit edit axis, and then now you go to axis titles. If you come in here and select the what you want to use, which are our parameters, you can select the measure and then hit OK. So then now we will see that our parameter is now listed in here when we select our parameter. So sum of sales and profit and then quantity. So remember, because I created that calculated field, this is controlling the actual access itself. So really cool update that Tableau did. Let me show you how to do this in Power BI. If you're going to Power BI, uh, I went in here and I created a actual what if parameter. If you're not familiar with what if parameters, uh, it's a feature that came out earlier this year or last year, um, but basically gives you flexibility to use parameters and use fields in your parameters. So if we look at the actual DAX behind it, I did the same thing where I have total profit, total quantity, and total sales. So these are my what if parameters. And if I come in here and create a visual, also I'm using the new visualization look and feel, testing it out. So if it looks a little different than your Power BI setup, uh, go ahead and update your Power BI desktop and update to the new visual uh, setting. If you don't know how to do that, if you go in here, go to options and settings, go to options, go to preview features, you will see the capability to use on object interaction. So turn this on if you want the new uh, on object interaction look and feel for Power BI Desktop. So that's what this looks like in case mine looks a little bit different than what you're used to. But let's go in here and select our new visual. Uh, if you come in here and select our bar chart. And then now we see that we have the ability to add our data. Come in here, I want to bring in category as my Y axis. And then now I want to make sure I use my measure as my X axis. And then now I need to create a slicer. And here, so I have my slicer. I'll make sure I'm using my what if parameter. Uh, no, I want a slicer. There we go. Not a table, I want a slicer. So now that I have my slicer on here, if I select total profit, we see that we have total profit in here listed. We want a total quantity. We have we listed in here and then total sales. And then another thing in our visualization itself, let's say I want to remove this and I want to say total sales and I might not want it on here. You can come in here and go to the actual title and select the title. So if you zoom in here, it does it automatically. Or you can go to the conditional formatting portion and select field value. And you can select that dynamic feature as well. I think it's measures that I want to select. Select OK. And then now we see there'll be the same thing. So you have total profit, total quantity, and total sales. So, and then you could turn it off on the Y axis if you don't want it shown on the Y axis. My bad. X axis. Uh, you can turn the title off of there as well. So now you'll have it shown in one place. But then you have total profit, total quantity, total sales. So you have a little bit of flexibility um, depending on where it is that you want to show. But this is how you can add additional context based on your user selection in Tableau and Power BI. Again, this just came out in Tableau recently. Really cool update. I know people have been asking for it for a while. I've been asking for it for a while. And then here's how you do it in Power BI. Here's an example using the 
uh, field parameters as your selection. So hit me up in the comments. Have you seen this before? Have you doing this a different way? Let me know if you want to see something else about more parameter usage in titles. And otherwise, uh, please like, share, subscribe, and I will talk to you all next week for a technology tip Thursday. You all have a great day.